uh, you're with us here on this uh, very special programming all through day. The, you'll watch uh, the coverage, full coverage of the Union Budget Fiscal 15. Uh, and of course, uh, as I've been saying, we promise to get you the best, uh, the best coverage. Uh, so stay right here. Uh, Manish Santalia is with us. Uh, Manish, good morning. Sarvendra, of course, you've been hearing. And Sanjeev Basin is with me here in our Delhi studios as well. Good morning to all of you. Manish, uh, is it, would you say this is as big as the election day? Uh, or the only difference is election verdict was kind of a binary event, right? It could have gone either way. It, it was a thumping victory or it could have been them not coming to power. I mean, but this is, I mean, we'll hear the budget for sure. The only thing is what form and substance. How do you think about today? See, nobody doubts the intentions of the government. Okay, but they have just had around 40 days to prepare this budget. So, you know, I think markets will be more focused on specifics. So, from that point of view, you know, there is no negative surprise as far as the intentions of the government is concerned. But how far and how quickly they are able to deliver is something that the markets are wanting to see and waiting to see. Personally, Manish, in the you know you can it, you, one can be subjective about what is a good budget, what is a pragmatic budget, uh, what is a super budget. But let's just use those adjectives for now. How would you, before the budget is out, how would you rate the budget? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's a tall ask. But uh, you know, I think budgets will try to meet the expectations uh, to the extent possible yeah. uh, the key challenge is to see i mean markets would be most excited if they see fiscal consolidation you know one single most important thing that the markets would want to see is fiscal consolidation and given the uncertain environment that india is in today i think it is more practical to see expenditure cut rather than augmentation of revenue in, a, in some big form. So, you can have a projection about revenue projections, but I think divestments, that is one major area that, that would help augment revenue from a fiscal consolidation point of view, etc. So, I would like to see expenditure cuts in the budget if all those things come through, you know, subsidy cuts and uh, some talk of that as to how they are going to do, go about it. I think markets would rate it very, very positively. Mm. But you know, expenditure cut, cuts where, right? I mean, if they were to cut plan expenditure more, because non-plan 80%, you can't do very much, right? There's maneuverability on the 20% on non-plan. Plan out of the total is just 20% anyway. So if you cut plan more, as Mr. Chidambaram did ruthlessly uh, over his last two terms, last two years of the last term of the UPA, would the market like it? Or what you are referring to essentially is cutting subsidies basically. Correct. It is more on account of subsidy cuts that the uh, market would be most excited about. And if you if you refer to you know what Mr. JK has been talking before the budget that we have been living beyond our means, etc. You know, all those things point to the fact that they have some intention in mind as far as cutting of subsidy is concerned. I think the single most important thing uh, that the markets will be focused on is how do you get growth and how do you cut subsidies. If these two things are addressed, the rest will be taken in stride. Action today on subsidies. Action today, Manish. Yes or no? I mean, there should be some mention of it in the budget. No, no, action. Action. How, how do action. You go action. I would tend to think that there would be some action there. Uh, you, you want to be specific? Under which head? Food, fuel, fertilizer, which head? Oh. Fuel. Fuel. And, and and how? LPG? Yeah, something like that. Right. So, I mean, he may, he might, you're saying he might say uh, LPG cylinder is going to cost whatever, 50 rupees more every month. Something like that? Correct. Yeah, something like that, 20, 25 rupees per month or maybe... Uh, uh, reduction of uh, subsidized cylinders to come down. I mean, that would give some message that the government is really serious about 
the subsidy front. I mean, all this while we have seen a lot of talking from the government, but you know, he has to do something, some uh, something which will give comfort that the government wants to, be, you know, intend and be specific about what they are saying. Yeah. Right. And and uh, do, you, do you have the uh, number for LPG, Manish? I mean, what's what number uh, numbers are we talking about? Uh, in terms of total subsidy on LPG? Yeah. I mean, the two biggest items now, you know, with oil collecting, you know, uh, it would be kerosene and LPG. Obviously, they are not going to touch kerosene, but something on LPG could be forthcoming. So, you know, 12 cylinder may be brought down to maybe 9 or 6. That would be one. And, uh, you know, like they have gone about diesel in the form of monthly highs. Some mention of that as to what sort of monthly high could come would really be positive. Yeah. You know that uh, text on the top of your screen that you're seeing, I think uh, summarizes it all. Goal setting or an action budget. Uh, I think that's essentially the basic uh, thing. Uh, an exercise in goal setting or is going to be here and now, we're going to do it now, starting now. Manish is saying, well, we might start to see something on LPG today. Uh, and of course, uh, the rest of it might be saying, well, this is what we plan to do over the next couple of years. Let's just play those shots out of Mr. Arun Jaitley getting out of, I think, his uh, residence uh, and uh, getting into his car. So those are live shots which came in this morning. We'll just do that for you. Manish, what else? So one is LPG, right? Uh, in terms of action, what else in this budget today? So, uh, you know, uh, the other would be uh, augmentation of revenue through a one-time settlement scheme uh, with, the, with the taxes and litigation. You know, that's a humongous figure that could bolster your revenue part. Uh, in the budget, uh, you know, we talk about something like four, four and a half to five and a half lakh crores stuck in various litigation. So, quasi amnesty scheme, so to speak, if you come out with a one time settlement, etc., so, that would balance your fiscal deficit to a large extent. Uh, you know, divestment program as to how they are going to pay about. Uh, and how do you spur growth? You know, how do you improve productivity of capital? Uh, so many projects stuck up, uh, you know, what do you do about clearances? Uh, because that would have an impact on your uh, improving the productivity of capital. And in a very short time frame after they have come to power, yes. I mean, some mention of these things would be good. Yes. No, but I think that's already happening. Uh, those are shots, by the way. Those are shots of Arun Jaitley getting out of his residence and sort of, I think, uh, getting started with his day and it's a day, I mean, it's some day. Uh, union budget. Uh, so, first budget from Mr. Arun Jaitley as finance minister uh, and uh, you know, it's all about whether he's going to be, he's going to hit the ground running today or he's going to pace himself up uh, for the next few years uh, and uh, you know, set himself up for a, a marathon. So, that's essentially uh, what we're going to be watching out for. I mean, it's just, you know, you could say it's semantics but I mean, it, it boils down to that because I mean, government finances leave not very much by way of room for him to maneuver, at least this year in, in fiscal 15. Unless, of course, as Manish points out, uh, you know, he really cuts subsidies and creates that room. Uh, but, you know, let's see if it happens. LPG maybe, kerosene, no food, no fertilizer, hard to do, especially in a year where monsoons are expected to be weak. Uh, Dr. Tirthankar Patnaik is also with us uh, from Relegate Capital Markets. And uh, let's uh, get him in as well. Uh, Dr. Patnaik, thanks very much. Uh, good morning. I just want to start by asking you the same thing that I began by asking Manish. Is it going to be an action budget or is it going to be an exercise in goal setting? What's your sense? Well, I guess the market is expecting it to be a 100 meter sprint <laughs> and, uh, you know, with beating Usain Bolt himself. Uh, but us macroeconomists would more like a, more like a long term view. Yeah. No, but do you think he can do a 100 meter sprint today? Very unlikely. The funding, as you rightly pointed out, does not leave much to chance. Yes. Uh, government borrowing is about 60-70% of incremental uh, deposits available in the system. Yes. So, practically no room yes. for, uh, for the private sector to wriggle out. Yes. If you want to see credit growth go up in the next couple of years, which is essentially higher GDP, you need to borrow less. But I want to ask you, uh, tell me three or four things, Tirthankar, which you think 
he can do in this budget in terms of action and we'll talk about goal setting in just a bit but actionable things that he can announce because he'll have to show something right he can't just completely say well uh, you know ambitious budget but little way of roadmap he'll have to start somewhere a few things he'll have to give to the market well basic thing will be that uh, he has to have a fairly large disinvestment target so we're not talking about a, a structure here uh, because the structure is well laid out in the economic survey yesterday yes. our own view is that uh, we can break down things into three parts prudence strategy and uh, sectors so in prudence basically you, you go to frd and you see that fiscal deficit numbers are in line revenue deficit numbers are in line and on uh, strategy you look at uh, higher tax offtake a wider tax offtake how to get savings from uh, households into uh, you know long term savings uh, from households back into the system then uh, how do you get capital from foreign investors what do you do about retrospective legislation so all that is strategy and then of course there is sectors where you could be selectively giving tax swaps where you could be taking uh, you know a view that certain se sectors need support certain sectors don't really need that there are revenues um, that a sector could be basically asked to give out in a time of crisis so these are the you know three three ways we are seeing things but in terms of action items as i, as I pointed out you know you you could see you could see a big disinvestment target and therefore to allow a big disinvestment target you could see uh, some carrot uh, laid out for the domestic investor you could see uh, short term short term capital gains tax basically going out you could see uh, gar either buried completely or uh, pushed out for a meaningful period and making things very easy for uh, fairly easy for uh, for the foreign investor and then also uh, you know highlighting a policy on fdi which can be of course beyond the budget but essentially to make uh, foreign investors uh, investors as happy as possible to come into india so essentially leading to capital intake in the economy right. so you're saying that he needs the market on his side so he'd want to keep them happy uh, one way of doing it is and just want to fo just focus on this uh, you're saying short term capital gain it's what 15% right now Yes, it's about 15 percent. Yes, short-term capital gains tax. You're saying, well, he could do away with it. He could do away with it. Uh, you know, I know there will be a partial revenue loss, but the amount of paper he'll be able to push out uh, uh, on the back of that will be will be will be tremendous. And the second part is um, the CPSC ETF was fairly successful. One of the things that could be done uh, would be to group. Uh, PSUs together, non-bank PSUs, and pass another ETF okay. with a fairly low ticket size. This has been suggested by uh, some segments of the industry also. Ah, so you, uh, Tirthankar, I see you're getting very creative. <laughs> no, <laughs> see, it has worked. The CPSC ETF has returned 50 percent. So no, I, it's done tremendously well. I, I was shocked when I saw the returns a few days back. And uh, isn't dramatic? Yeah, I mean, absolutely, no doubt. But yeah, but let's see if he does some of the stuff. Manish, short-term capital gains tax uh, being done away with. You think it's possible? They'll do it. And what would it do, according to you, if it were done, if it actually were to be announced? So if short-term capital gains tax goes away, then I don't think uh, you know STT is going to remain at the current levels, and STT rates will go up. Because uh, you know, I really don't think uh, uh, he is going to have a 